Welcome, everybody. It is time for Paul versus Destin. I am your host, Destin Legary, and my co-host is Paul Tassie. Paul, good to see you again. It's been a while. Yeah, good to be back. Thanks for having me on again. Yeah, uh, you have a baby. I have a baby. So we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so it's a little harder to time these. But uh, today we're going to talk about Diablo Immortal. We both played a bit of it anyway, and we're going to talk about our impressions of it. We are also going to talk about uh, Destiny and the current Destiny season a little bit. And we're going to talk about the Halo TV show and our reactions to the Master Chief on the silver screen is the, is the TV, the silver screen. Anyway, we'll do all that right now. All right, Paul. So let's get right into it with Diablo immortal. Everybody's been talking about this. Um, I started playing it the other day and I'll just, I'll just start because, uh, you're further than I am. I think you're going to have more of a, uh, enlightened perspective, so to speak. <laughs> I think I hit like level 10 and I'm really liking it. Um, I was really surprised. It does an excellent job of giving you that taste that mobile games often do to get you hooked right before you hit that wall that you often hit with these games. And I know you've written an article about it, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in just a second. But as a, as a novice, as a beginner, I went through the whole intro thing, got the bar to hundred percent, and then it sends you to the next area. And I'm currently going from the beginner area to whatever the next town or graveyard or wherever I'm going is going to be. Uh, a lot of graveyards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> picked up some side quests along the way. Uh, I died at one point and some player revived me and, uh, I'm playing on PC. I haven't I haven't had a chance to try it on mobile, but I logged into my Bnet account, and then uh, I'm going to be trying that out next. Um, I like it a lot. It feels like Diablo. I'm using you know my my magic attacks. It's very easy to pick up and play and get going. And I haven't hit any sort of obstructive wall where I'm underpowered and can't access any content yet. And I'm level ten. It's constantly giving you uh you know bombastic reward screens so you feel like you're getting stronger and and getting that cool loot and man it really has its hooks in me right now so paul let's step into the future because you're in the 30s what am i in store for and what what well what have your impressions been and then what am i in store for in the future yeah so i'm 39 uh, i have a barbarian uh, level 39 not age 30 <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I started playing on Wednesday. Uh, I've done some pretty consistent sessions. Um, I agree with you. I think it is a very, very well polished mobile game, uh, especially in the genre. My wife is just walking by, I was playing on my iPad. And she's like, "That looks really good for a yeah. mobile game." I'm like, "It does, doesn't it?" Like, it's it's very well done, and it's interesting. You're playing on PC. Um, I have both versions. I, I actually, I've done both. I prefer playing it on mobile. Um, yeah. It was designed first for mobile, and I don't know if for me the PC optimization is like all the way there. Like you can play it mouse and keyboard, but for some reason, I don't know, it just, it feels better on the on my iPad, looks clearer, and I can take it around and play with, while holding a baby and things like that, yeah. which I can't do with my mouse and keyboard. Um, so that aspect of it is really good. I, I think um, for the first, let's say, 30 levels, it moves along at a really decent clip. You're just kind of playing through the story like you would any Diablo game. You are leveling up constantly. You are getting uh, lots of new skills, lots of new loots. Like, it is very much like, okay, this is a Diablo game. I get it. You're not running into monetization walls. Like, every so, every so often there's something weird. Like, you'll finish a dungeon and you get, like, a one-time offer for, like, a dungeon bundle of crap or whatever but like it, it, you could ignore it like it's not really a thing um the problem kind of gets when you get to around the mid 30s so eventually you'll, you'll hit a point where your objective just becomes okay hit level 35 and you're like okay like that's like maybe you're almost the way there so you have a few things to finish up and you get there and then you do like a little zolted cool quest and like these sections take i don't know that probably took no more than 15 20 minutes and then it's like okay hit level 40 and I'm like, okay, but now, now what do I do? <laughs> because like you run out of story content because mm -hmm. up until that point, you're just kind of playing through it. You're running a rift or two, you're doing some challenges and stuff, but like it's moving along at a pretty consistent pace. But this is kind of the, the mobile games slow down where like they give you this much for free, but like, it's not even just that like, okay, they want you to start paying now because I don't think there's like an easy skip for the XP stuff. 
the game just kind of fundamentally changes from you're just progressing through the story to get to the end to reach max level at kind of whatever pace to, you want to, okay, I have to do some pretty specific things to feed into the biggest source of XP, which is the battle pass. Because every, every battle pass level you rank up is like a full level almost. Uh, and then the little side things you're doing, like dungeons and challenges and bounties, it's a lot less XP. But completing those gives you like battle pass points. So when you flip over the level, but like this is what the game becomes. Like it becomes, it changes from like you're going through the story mode normally to, okay, here's a checklist of specific tasks. You have eight bounties a day to do, which are like kill 50 yeah. spiders in the forest. And it's just, it it becomes a lot more mundane. Uh, and it's not really even just like a pay to win thing. It's, it's more of a, a kind of overall design thing that uh, I think some people are going to hit this wall and be like, okay, I don't really know if I want to be checking back every day to play this to crawl to level 40 and then to 45. And then to, like, it's, it totally kind of changes how the game is played after that point and I'm, I'm curious who will kind of make it past that point yeah uh i played actually i played a significant amount of raid shadow legends and i think it sort of had the same issues where you hit this wall where you're like okay here's where they try and get you to pay but uh i spent a lot of time with it so i don't have the same negative association that most people do with raid, raid shadow legends because i'm like well i got like a hundred hours of gameplay out of this mobile game mm -hmm. and um do you feel like people are going to feel the same way with diablo or are they going to hit that grindy spot and get pa can you get past it or is it just like that's what the rest of the game like is like until you level can 60? if you could tolerate like just the massive slowdown and then kind of the limit in scope of activities you can do because mm -hmm. it's essentially like do your daily bounties you know, run these two kinds of rifts and then rerun dungeons that you've already done in the story. And then every five levels, it seems you're going to unlock a new uh, part of the story, but that's only, again, it's like 20 minutes of, of gameplay. It's it's not really anything significant. And I, I think some people will get through it because Diablo is a fun, addicting game. It's mm. just that when you were playing Diablo 3, like you didn't have to do this. You could just go through the whole story and just grind your way to level 60, and then you hit the, you know, quote, slowdown of trying to find god roll loot, and that was usually done in Rifts or Adventure Mode or something like that. So that was a different kind of slowdown where here, you're just, you're, they're throwing up these level gates now, and again, like, it, weirdly, this doesn't really seem like a monetization thing. There is a lot of monetization in the game, but almost everything I see is either uh, selling cosmetics, which is whatever, um, yeah. and then uh, r these, like, Rift token the effort crests rift crests and they sell legendary rift crests and the point of those is like you slot them into a rift and then you will guarantee you get yourself a legendary gem at the end of it of some rarity and legendary gems are very important you, you socket them into your armor for crazy effects and you can upgrade them uh and it's the way i would describe it is like it's like buying a loot box only you then have to play through through a dungeon to open the loot box. <laughs> and that's why it's banned in two countries because this is technically a loot box system. Um, but like, I don't, th that doesn't really solve the XP problem. I don't think it'll make your character stronger if you get the, you know, great legendary gems and stuff and, and bonus materials. But um, I, d I don't know if it's like some easy pass to max level, like just for mm -hmm. shelling out money. So it's, it's kind of a weird monetization system to be honest. So you're like in the thirties, right? Currently. Yeah, um, I, I, it really, it started to slow maybe around 33, 34, when you get to 35 and beat the Zoltan Cool thing, then it's like, okay, I've spent maybe, I spent maybe one day getting to like level 25, and then I've spent three days going from like level 35 to level 39. <laughs> it just, it, and that was like dedicated grinding of like really specific activities. So but there's, it's, it's a bit strange. But there's no way, it seems like there's not really a way to pay to unlock this stuff. You just have to do your daily quests or any of the quests that are available to get that level acceleration. Am, am I wrong? I looked through the store to like, like there's just so much crap in the store. I could be missing something that's like some sort of super thing but I, I don't think so like I, everything I, I most of what I saw was pretty much what I just described to you but I guess from my perspective my argument is like okay like should I be you know do I really want to be investing in another like check in daily and run eight bounties yeah game you know what I mean or if, if I was going to do that I feel like I should be playing Lost Ark because I really liked Lost Ark mm -hmm. and Lost Ark is kind of a 
you know, a, a modernized version of Diablo that is, I mean, it's just a much bigger game than Diablo Immortal. It's, it's a massive game and like so massive, it was overwhelming. But I put that game down because I just didn't have time for a game like that alongside my other games, even though I did fundamentally like it. And that was another game where they just throw in like gear score caps and things you have to get past in order to get to the next continent or whatever. But it, it, so if, I, if I'm going to pick between the two, I'm, I'm like... I might go back to Lost Ark. It's just that I'm not, I guess I'm not really looking for a game like that. And when I would play, um, you know, Diablo 3, I would just kind of be able to maybe grind at my own pace. And here, I'm, I'm just not quite sure what I'm doing yet. It's only been a couple days, so maybe I can figure out a rhythm that feels more rewarding than what I'm currently doing. But it, it does slow way down and gets a little repetitive. I haven't hit a difficulty wall. I haven't, like, encountered content that's just so hard I can't get past it unless I pay to power up my character it's just i don't feel like there's a ton to do that feels very rewarding after a certain point uh i may have missed it what class did you say you're playing barbarian barbarian i did wizard and that's one. that is one thing you yeah. can do is you can go start another class and mm -hmm. then take that class up to like 35 and get all those skills and stuff because that that's fun too i mean i i like experiencing different classes so yeah maybe i'll do that yeah, I ran a I ran a wizard and I'm having a good time with the wizard. I like that I can just knock stuff back and uh, the abilities that I have unlocked with that character so far is, have been pretty fun. Um, I usually play the barbarian class. I'm like, you know what? I I'm going to try the wizard for for a change and try something different because um, I like the tanky boys, but uh, magic's cool. So barbarian's yeah. a little a little basic for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. I pull, I'll probably do necromancer if I do another one. So that's the first one that they start you on. Um, g gameplay wise, uh, besides the grindiness, how do you feel about the the toolkit that you have with the barbarian? Is it is it fun? Is it does it feel rewarding crushing enemies? Yeah, it does. It's it's great. I think I, I played a, a bunch of the classes in the alpha, so I, I've done a number of them at this point. I did Monk and Demon Hunter in, in a number of them, and I this is the, the best part of the game is certainly the adaptation of Diablo kind of formatting and, and gearing and combat for this platform, which I honestly didn't think they'd be able to pull off. Like I hate touchscreen games for the most part, unless it's like something you know, pr like kind of by default made for mobile, like Hearthstone or something. Like, I'm not just a, I'm not a big mobile games person, much less an action-oriented one. Like, I cannot play Genshin Impact on mobile. Can't do it. It sucks. I hate it. <laughs> uh, but I'll play it all day on PC. This is actually, like, really, really well formatted for mobile um, with the way they've designed these moves where, I mean, you've experienced it on PC, but, like, you're able to just, you know, position these AoE moves or these projectile moves or, or whatever, like, very easily, very quickly, and you never feel like you're, um, you know, being screwed up by the mobile controls. It feels very well designed for them. And I think that's what's going to get a, a lot of people hooked on it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it feels really good, uh, right? Like it feels like a Diablo game. I was and I love the the pickup playability of it. Uh, if anybody watching is actually playing Diablo Immortal, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Uh I think Asmongold, I've been watching a lot of his clips lately, and it sounds like the WoW community is pretty down on it. Uh, so I was a little surprised to see that because I'm like, oh, I really like it, but I'm I'm a filthy casual. So, you know. Well, so I think the problem becomes, I think at the higher, like highest stages of this game, it becomes crazy pay to win. Mm. Because unless you are spending big money to get these like five star legendary gems and all this crap, like. I, the upward spending limit on this game is supposed to be just nuts once you get to like the true, true end game. But I, I'm not close to there yet. I'm not, you know, I'm barely halfway through max level. So uh, if that's true, that's certainly something I wouldn't want to dive into long term. Like I have enough stupid yeah. games I've spent stupid amounts of money on to, to add this to it. But now you're actually the type of player in a game like Destiny where you'll spend a ton of money. And I'm the type of player where I refuse to spend money in games. I've never spent a cent in Raid Shadow Legends. I never spent money in Destiny 2. Uh, I never spent money in uh, and I won't spend money in these games. I think the closest thing that I guess you could could call uh, me spending money on or like I'll get the collector's edition of a game which comes with the season pass for the year. Like See, I never I never get collector's editions of anything. Well, like on uh, Steam, you can select like the highest. Version. Oh, I thought you meant like the physical collector's no, no, editions no, 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 with no. all the stuff in them. No, uh, just I see your fancy special edition Xbox back there with the <laughs> Microsoft sent that. Microsoft oh, okay. sent the Xbox. So like, <laughs> all right, well that doesn't count then. Yeah. So I have my personal one 
And then I have yeah. the one they sent me that I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do have two. That's hilarious. So, oh, wow. You, two Xboxes to one PS5. You're such a fanboy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, anyway, let us know in the comments about how much of a fanboy I am. And also your thoughts about Diablo Immortal. I'm having a good time. Paul's okay with it, but you seem like you it's, might bail. It's good. I mean, try it. It's good. <laughs> let's revisit. Let's revisit when we hit 60. Hey, did you like that video? Well, the full episode is available right now to all members with the full episode posting to everybody else later next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from Paul, he is over here. If you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.